Hi. 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 We're out here on the Saginaw Bay, half a mile out from Linwood, and we have us an eclipse. Of course, we're on a rickety sailboat. And everyone's complaining about the sail getting in the way. Not everybody. You know, I knew it would be a bad idea to take a video on a sailboat. Why? I don't know, it's like there's waves or something. Right, I'm gonna grab my bigger lens. See how well my camera likes that? It does not like that. What about these welding goggles? Now if I was sailing right now we'd probably have more stable footage, you know? I don't know. Because we wouldn't be rocking around with every little wave. Oh, really? We'd be plowing through them. Yeah, it's pretty cozy in there. It's not wet, too wet anyways. Just watch your head, cause it's a very low ceiling. Oh my God, we're not the only one. Yeah, I've, I actually saw a couple boats out there. There should be a couple. Oh yeah, I see another one. Dang, I can almost see the name of the boat. Alright, I'm gonna try and get one last view of the eclipse. Blinded by the light. Here comes the sun. Alright, time to haul up that anchor. Yeah, watch your head because there's those bolts on the ceiling. Yeah, I already, I already had my head on those. Oh my god, there's a bag, there's actually a bunch there. Oh jeez. <laughs> <laughs> you hit your head? Yeah, yeah, my head was a little bit hurt. <laughs> It's crazy how easy that was. I'm gonna try and leave the anchor up front if I can. Can I, are you able to pull in that rope any tighter? Yeah. Good. So I said this boat could comfortably sit seat six people, but I think three is probably the golden number. Why? Just because of the ropes and the tiller. It'd be kind of awkward. Man, look at those swells. Oh, that's crazy. Thankfully, there's no white caps today. You got the huge troughs, but you don't have the oh. sharp crests. Like these, these swells that we're currently looking at, I don't know how deep they are. Maybe a foot. All right, we're getting pretty far out, so I'm gonna pa pack us again. All right, guys, you ready to pack? Yeah. 
Uh, okay, you're good. You guys feel that vibration? Yeah, what is there? A board? It's the center board vibrating. Is it? Yeah, it should be fully down. It does that. It's normal for this kind of boat. Water doesn't look disgusting anymore. Probably in about six to eight feet of water. Dusting all of a sudden. We're at a standstill. Oh, uh, we're in irons. The wind just shifted really suddenly. Arr, we got some wind down our backs. Oh, it's, it's the tropical wind from the southern seas. Oh. Yeah, make sure it's uncleated. Be fine. All right, there we go. Hey, about time you came out. Yeah. I think I can see some chop coming. I can see some chop. Oh! You guys see that? I'm going to head us back. Uh, it feels so much better to be looking towards the shore. Even though we're like a mile from the shore. I believe this is called the Broad Reach that we're doing. Are we going to zoom at all? Yeah. <laughs> we're going to I've ever sailed in on this. Yeah, we're moving pretty fast now. Look at the wave behind us. Oh my god. Um, you know what, guys? I think I'm just going to drop the sails because we're close enough to motor back. Central Station 16, Station 16, heavy possible water rescue. Station 14, Station 14, have a water rescue. Uh, request for manpower with your boat. The Coast Guard has received a report of a sailing vessel possibly in distress. We are underway. Gar is medium, medium. All mariners are requested to keep a sharp lookout as this is possible and notify the nearest Coast Guard units of any sightings. state of affairs. Remember me. We have visual on both the sailboat and the two privates that are out. Three souls on board the sailboat. All are in good condition. Life best time. 647 local time. The disabled sailing vessel from the vicinity of Linwood Beach in Saginaw Bay is no longer in distress. Cancel pom-pom. This is United States Coast Guard Secretary Troy. Out.